All right, guys. You have heard me say this a whole bunch of times, but I really do think this weekend is going to be the weekend, and I'll tell you why. So, Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, it's November the 8th. It's Friday, November the 8th right now. This coming Tuesday, the high is 31. And today, it's 42 is the high. And that's what my truck says right now, too. Uh, but, man, we've got, it's going to get colder as each day goes on. Tomorrow, it's going to be even colder. Sunday, it's going to be even colder. And Monday, it's going to be even colder until we get down to 31. And, like, it's a low of 17. How often that happens in Arkansas in November? <laughs> Not very much. Not very much at all. Very rare wet weather. So, uh, yeah. So, we got a cold front coming. Now, we've got... Uh, We've got a ton of shooter deer on this farm that we're going to. I mean, just a bunch of them. They're, I've looked on camera and I've, you know, took the pictures, put them side by side and compared. And there's about, there might be more, but there's 10 shooter deer, about nine or 10 shooter deer for sure. Different shooter deer. And I mean, anywhere from 130 to 150 inches, which is a really good Arkansas deer definitely don't want to pass that in this state if you were somewhere like iowa illinois indiana maybe but here that's that's not a deer you pass on you just stay at the house because most likely you're not going to see anything bigger than that here but uh no it's it's really nice it's going to be so we got a cold front coming we got a ton of deer on this farm and the third thing so it's november the 8th and tomorrow, our statewide modern gun season opens. Now, we're going down to my zone four farm. Now, up here in the zone, or the zone four farm, excuse me. We're going to the zone nine farm. In the zone four farm, it's up here by where I live. The gun season is two days. You can only hunt with a muzzleloader, a shotgun, or a pistol and uh, it's two days long but the thing is is there's just not there's a few shooter deer out there but there's just not it's just too it's just there's not anything that's impressive enough for me to want to stay up here and uh, try to hunt those two days and we get another we get another three day gun hunt up here in in the zone four farm after christmas uh the 26th 27th and 28th of december so we might hit it again then and we might have some new shooter deer show up i don't know but there's not the one shooter buck we had on that farm he hadn't shown up in a few days so we're not going to worry about that and we've got shooter deer showing up down here gun season opens we got to shoot them we got to get down here and hunt them before somebody else, uh, one of the neighbors end up getting a shot at it or something like that. But we're trying to get that, you know, done, taken care of right there. So, uh, yeah, going to get colder. We've got a ton of deer to hunt down here on this one farm, just one farm. There's three different farms that we hunt on down here. And just on that one, there's shooters. Now, we've got shooters on the other two. But on that one in particular farm, there's about 10 different shooter bucks on that one. So right now, I'm, uh, I'm running down here. Going to put out, uh, going to get the corn put out, the rice bran and everything like that. Get all that out. I really need to shoot my rifle uh, just to make sure it didn't get knocked off or anything. I didn't hardly get the rifle hunt last year. Uh, so that kind of knocked me out and it was so terrible last year but this year looks so much more just the number of deer we're seeing and the tremendous comeback that the deer have made on uh since last year see not this spring but last spring we had a big problem where uh these little gnats are called they call them buffalo gnats i don't know if that's the real name of them or what but they call them buffalo gnats they're these little bitty gnats and they crawl in the deers, they'll crawl up their nose and their eyes and their 
ears and they'll just eat them from the inside out and it killed those gnats killed thousands of deer i mean and i'm not kidding you there were dead deer laying all over about beside the highways everywhere and that winter last winter we just didn't have a good deer season and it never got cold to where they'd move but this year it's getting a lot colder earlier. It's gonna be a really cold winter. Uh, so, uh, but yeah, we got, we got two buck tags here. We got a bunch of big deer down here. We're gonna see if we can get on one. We got a lot of work to do. Gotta make sure all this gets done. So, uh, yeah, oh, keep watching and uh, hit that like button for me and the subscribe one too if it's not too big of a deal actually hit the, the subscribe one right before you hit the like button right there but uh yeah if you would if it's not too big of a deal just do that for me there uh that way i can you know get something out of making all these right here but i love doing this man oh and i thought i'd go ahead and add on some of my videos like in my last videos like I noticed that once I loaded it on YouTube and I watched it, like just for a split second, the screen would kind of buffer and then it'd show my face like it was coming out of this camera and I'd be filming with the front camera on my phone here. And I do all this with my phone, if you didn't know that. Film all of it with my phone. And I think it's pretty good for, you know, filming, pretty good quality for filming with your iPhone. But uh, no, I just, uh, I noticed it would just uh, maybe one or two times per video. It just kind of buffer, and and I'd be filming with the front camera, and it'd just show my face like if I were filming for a split second with this camera. So uh, I don't know what that's, uh, you know, uh, what causes that. I'm new to all this filming stuff, so uh, I'm learning as I go. Maybe somebody can educate me on that. I don't know, but. Uh, I'm, I'm giving it my best here, but uh, it gives me something to do besides, uh, you know, hunt. I like filming them. I like watching them. I consider any hunt that I see a bunch of deer on a, a good hunt, and we've had several good hunts on this on this in particular channel. Uh, but man, it should be phenomenal. Uh, a really phenomenal weekend. It's pretty much a holiday to my whole family down here so uh but anyway i'll uh, i'll shut up now we're gonna get down here to zone nine and uh get ready to gun hunt gonna get this corn put out try to shoot my rifle this afternoon and in the morning maybe he'll walk out if he don't he probably will that afternoon but i don't know we'll just have to go and see but we got some work to do let's go do it pull on up there we saw plenty of deer yesterday they were out and about yesterday we got a good frost on the ground as you can see on the side of my truck here Let's see if i can get a good angle on that yeah got a good frost on the ground here so there ain't no actually a better example that frost you really see it on that truck but uh no it's man i left my tailgate down bag got a little frost on it oops but anyway it's just to show you what we got going on here we ought to have some deer moving today. I am extremely pumped. I am really excited about this. There's just one more thing for me to do. Now that I'm taking this video here. Gotta have my orange. So, we're ready to go hunting. So, let's go to the deer stand right now. Well, I didn't get it on camera, but uh, had a little 
That looks like a four point or a spike. Somebody just got him a deer. But uh, a little four pointer spike crossed right here to the north of us. At the top of the hill, I couldn't tell what it was. I had all kinds of complications going on. I just went ahead and I knew it was a deer, but I didn't know how big the deer was, so I had to throw my gun up because my binoculars were foggy. And then my binoculars fogged up. I grabbed my gun. My heater's right here in front of me, and I was kind of hanging over the top of my heater. My scope fogged up. <laughs> How you beat it? But uh, it's still early. That's still real early. That little buck was crossing right here at the top of this hill. We'll have some more move later. Last time I hunted this stand about two weeks ago. About two weeks ago. I didn't see any deer until like 8.30 and then they all just came out of the woodwork, so. Big heavy frost. I showed you on the truck this morning. I just want you to, I'm gonna open this window back here. If you guys can see that levee right there in the center of the screen, how frosty it is. We've had frosts on opening day of deer season many times. Many times. But the top of the ground is like froze like concrete. You might get that in January, late December, January, right now, November. No, uh, it's gonna be a cold winter. And it's gonna make my duck hunting videos tough. By the way, you need to go check those out. Uh, I've already probably said it in this video, but I'll say it again. Uh, Arkansas Waterfowl TV. Go check it out. It's pretty neat. So, that's my duck hunting channel. I tell you, though, I really enjoy doing filming my deer hunts more than I do that, though, because that is going to be hard. I mean, at least here you're sitting in one place and you can kind of concentrate where your deer, where you're going to see your deer. A duck pit, they get you 360 degrees. You don't know what way they're going to come in there. So, all right. I just, I can't, I thought I'd keep rolling the camera for a minute that way. That it'd just be on when that deer walked out. But I don't guess he's going to walk back out. But we'll see something in a little bit.
Didn't even see that one. Must be a little spike he's chasing them. A little spike or button buck or something. It's a good sign though. So we think somebody's on one of our deer stands. I just got the phone with my dad here. We're gonna have to cut this opening morning hunt short, which I hate. But we think somebody's over on one of our deer stands, so we're gonna have to go over there and look. So hopefully nothing bad happens. All right. So after an hour looking for a poacher, I just got back in the deer stand. There's a Okay, so I don't really know what just happened here, but uh, after uh, after an hour of uh, looking for poachers, we were, we located them and uh, we contacted our local law enforcement, and they're taking care of it right now as we speak. Uh, but anyway, let's get back on this subject. So it is. I have been gone an hour. And we have been running all over the front of the property here. And I just got back in the stuff. I mean, literally, I haven't. I just turned my heater on. I just got back up in the in the deer stand. And I don't know what, what just walked across the lane right here. But I, you'll see like a two-second clip of it. The two-second clip of it right before... When I did that really quick intro just a second ago, I literally, I just walked from there. And, and uh, yeah, and deer standing out there. So, obviously I didn't mess anything up, but I just walked right past there and got up in this stand. My chair is still cold. I mean, that's how long I've been here, but no, we, I don't remember what I explained uh, before I left here, but so we're sitting there. I was filming some deer right here. I don't remember. It was a little bit after seven o'clock and my dad's hunting over here behind me. And I don't remember if I said it on camera or if I thought it about it to myself, but, uh, or if I was talking on the phone with somebody. But I heard a shot back that way, and it was really close. And uh, my dad, you know, uh, is hunting over here, so I thought it was him. So, well, then a few seconds later, he called me and said, oh, it's him. He's going to call it to rub it in my face that he killed a deer. So, I'm waiting. He calls me, and sure enough, he's like, yeah. He's like, somebody just shot right here by me. So, I had to get down and go deal with that. We got the guy, and uh, he might be uh, he might be screwed. I'll just say that. But man, just what poachers don't realize is, is it's not. There's a deer standing right here on this levee. standing behind them there. If I can find my binoculars. I'm sorry, I'm trying to look at my binoculars and look at these deer at the same time. I don't have a tripod on this side. 
the stand, so I'm kind of free-handing it and trying to look in the binoculars. I want to know where them two deer came running from. There's nothing right there but a rice field back that way. I mean, there's no woods. There's no nothing. You can see there's a little fence row in the distance right there, but there ain't no heavy woods anywhere. Two little bitty baby deer. But what I was getting at there is uh, poachers don't realize that, like, it's not like, oh, it's their land, it should be everybody's land, blah, 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 blah. What they don't realize is, is, is a landowner, especially a deer hunter, puts in work to uh, maintain the land, you know, to uh, put in food plots, keep food out for the deer. This just amazes me. I have been in the stand for literally like four minutes or however long I've been filming. I have filmed. You guys have been here the entire time I have. Besides me walking down here and walking up the ladder and getting in the stand. That's the only part that I didn't film. But I have been running after poachers for the last... I got down, it was a little after 7. It's 8.45 now. Almost 9 o'clock. And there's the, these deer obviously don't care, but but no, the poacher deal, you know, they don't realize that you, you, we've put in money to this and time and a lot of hard work and, and you know, passed up little deer, you know, little bucks and even some pretty good bucks I've passed up on out here. Uh, that some people call me crazy for for doing. I passed up on a few of those like that, and they never, you know, uh, and you know it, it takes years to do that. And somebody to come out here and shoot a deer on uh, on our land, you know, it's different if you're a neighbor. And it walks over there, whatever, that sh it's on you. I mean, there's a reason that deer was over there at that time. It's because you're doing something right, and it was just a better time in there. But, no, it's just, it sucks that we got people like that that's just going to poach, you know. Uh, the state, our state's got, like, it's close to like two million acres or something like that total of WMA uh, National Wildlife Forests and stuff like that. Places that are for public use, you know, hunting and stuff like that. And if I didn't have this, I could hunt on there. Any Anybody can kill. I mean, we've got some good public land here. People just don't want to put in the time and effort and stuff to hunt it. And, and, you know, there is a lot of heartache and stuff, but that doesn't give you a reason, reason to go break the law and go off on, on somebody's, uh, you know, private land. I mean, uh, you know, what what if what if you were affecting somebody's living? You know, what if I was, if I was guiding deer hunts or something like that and I depended on, you know, the deer here? being here on this ground and depending, you know, wanting other people that come and pay to hunt with me, you know, they're paying me money to come hunt and somebody just comes on here and shoots one just for free, you know, I mean, just nothing without any permission, you know, don't know who they are. I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous, man. Poachers, it's, it's crazy, I mean. It's absolutely ridiculous, but anyway, definitely, this has definitely now been uh, the most interesting uh, opening day of deer season I've had. It's cold, frost on the ground, just melted a little while ago. There's poachers running everywhere, there's the deer don't care, there's still two of them sitting out here, too. those two little ones are sitting right there. It, 
If you guys only knew how dirty this window is in actuality, but if if the sun wasn't right here, you could see these two deer. They'd be like right there, about 50 yards or so. But no, it's been a very interesting day. Definitely gonna be a two-part video, and but I tell you. This afternoon, we shouldn't have any complications. I think if if I wouldn't have got up and left an hour and then had to come back and had to do everything that we did today, then it would have been better. So, I think that we would have we would have seen a buck because we were seeing deer after deer after deer until you know seven when I had to get up and go. So, but anyway. So, I don't know if this will be the end of this part of the video or not. We'll just have to see if we uh, see any more deer. So, But even if we do see some more deer, or I end up shooting one, I don't know. You know, we're going to hunt another few hours. It's only 9 o'clock. It's the weekend. I mean, what else you got to do? So, uh... Yeah, we're gonna try to, we're gonna sit here and if I don't see any more deer, then I guess this will be the end of the video, but if uh, I end up seeing some deer shoot one, then I guess that will be the end of the video, I mean. I mean, no, it's, it's gonna be neat. This afternoon, I don't think, I don't have much hope for this morning. I did until all that happened, but It's gonna hit this afternoon ought to be they're moving this good this morning. They ought to be moving really good this afternoon. So even if this isn't in the video or if it's not, keep watching and keep looking out for part two because I am hunting this afternoon as long as I got a pulse. So was the same deer that was chasing the does. We're looking to the north right now. I think that was the same deer that was chasing these does to the south a little while ago before I had to leave. 